Welcome to Tech Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make bread rolls at home with these easy steps. The ingredients for the bread will be put up after the video has finished showing, but I'm going to list them out one after the other. So we have our flour, four cups of flour. We have four cups of flour here. We have our yeast, one tablespoon of yeast. One cup of warm milk. We have our four tablespoons of melted butter right here. We have six tablespoons of sugar. We have our bread flavor. I'm going to use one teaspoon of this. So basically, these are the ingredients that we have the salt, which is one teaspoon of salt. So let's roll. Okay, before we um, start, you mix in one teaspoon of the sugar and the warm water, which is half cup of warm water. You add your yeast to it and leave it for five minutes or less to prove. I've added my yeast, this is the yeast, added it to this warm water, and this is how it looks after five minutes. The reason why we did it is for the yeast to prove. The yeast needs to prove. So now the yeast is rising. So this shows that it's going to work on the flour when we mix in the flour. So now I add the four tablespoons of melted butter into the yeast. So I pour in the, the melted butter into the yeast. I'm keeping that aside now. I want to add to mix the flour, the four cups of flour. To it, I'm going to add the salt. And I'll mix it together. Sorry, when you're working or making bread, you can't put on hand gloves to be so difficult to work. So I'm using my hands, but my hands are clean. I'm using them to, I'm using them to work. Once I'm sure the salt has mixed in well, add the remaining sugar into the mixture. And to that, I'll add my warm milk. The yeast. So I'm still going to add a little more warm water to get it to the texture I want it to be before I put it on the table and knead. Remember, you can make these bread rolls at home. It doesn't take time. It's easy to do. Make it at home for the family. I'm going to put it now. Dust my table with a little flour. And I'm going 
going to need it now. Remember, the more you need, the softer it turns out to be. I'm trying to make it as soft as it can. With the first one, put it, put it in the pan. I'm going to do the second one. Okay, so this is how it looks. They are all loaded, and I want to put it. I'm going to put it in, a, in an oven, not to bake yet, but I want it to rise. So when it's risen, I will show you how it looks. You can't uh, use time to gauge it because you don't know how active the yeast is. So we we'll just. When it's ready, I'll show you how it looks. The size has in it before you know it's ready to be done. So the bread dough is ready. This is how it looks before it enters the oven. So we're going to bake it at a temperature of 150 degrees centigrade. And the next time you'll be seeing this bread to be good to eat. So here is our bread bowl, and this is how it looks like. Now I'm going to just cut a little so you see how the bread looks inside. So soft, so nice. You can eat it with your sardine, your stew, anything you want to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not. If you have a question, leave it down in the comment section. And you can also chat me up on any media, social media outlets. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.